<laughs> Here's a puzzle which I handed out at a puzzle party in ooh, 1993 in Holland, the Spiegevia puzzle. Interesting. It says that um, this is uh, a curious folk puzzle from Bailio, Russia, it was recently discovered by a Moscow collector. It's made from a light woven material and its colours fade quickly in strong light, so making it insolvable. Keep it in the box and open it only in dim light to prolong its life. Is it dim enough in here? I don't know. I'll just show it briefly then. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes, that's one of those. Yes, it's a rattler. Yes, and I was caught out trying to build up sort of tension into what I was going to find in there. So this is something I had a lot of fun with handing out to about 120 puzzlists in Brooklyn outside um, Amsterdam back in 1993. It was, a, it was a joke one, but it was a lot of fun. You're probably more familiar with the old rattlesnake egg, which has been out even longer. This is a standard joke. It's been out 50 years. Here's a nice one where you open it up and it goes, it rattles like that. And what's inside? One of these things here, a little ring like that, elastic bands, that's where the rubber comes from in a frame. And when you wind it up about 50 times, the person thinks that um, the rattlesnake eggs are about to hatch and they're going to get bitten. So, a nice one, that. There's a curious little toy here which has, I'll pull the camera down a bit, these little pieces. What's nice about these is they move very, very slowly. You have to wind them up like this a few times. They're like sea anemones. They think, I think I see anemones. It's got a little friction ring inside, a bit like those little um, tanks you made out of cotton reels and things. When you let go of it, it slowly moves. Inside is a little bit of elastic. You just about see it, that green stuff there. There's an elastic band there which is pulling. And now it's I put a bit of um, grease in it to make it move better, and then when you wind it up like this, perhaps about two dozen times, it should actually operate, as that one there is very slowly there, but it also should operate in a vertical plane, so it's a little more interesting, I think, when it's like this. But it's trying to sort of move around in a very creepy way. Extraordinary, aren't they? So, both moving very slowly due to a frictional ring inside, which slows the action down, otherwise they just go whiz and it's no fun at all. But those last quite a long time because I've put a lot of turns to them. Very unusual version of uh, elastic bands. By contrast, this little creature, which again is a standard one for being out for 100 years or more, it's got a elastic bands here, and when you pull the cord, it winds the thing up. That's quite a heavy little sort of um, reel there. And as you release it, it runs across the thing. So this one will move across the table with a bit of luck. If I do it like that and then woof. It, I need a lot more room to do this, but on a carpet I can pull it a long way and it takes off quite a speed actually. It moves very fast. That's typical of uh, elastic band toys. They move very quickly. And it's nice to see a contrast where things are moving very, very slowly. Nice one that. And the last one to show you is I think my favourite. This was something that appeared about ooh, 40 years ago I think it was. So did you pencil across some Tesco's, gracious. Twirly, it's my, um, made by Humbrol, a toy company that was out uh, in the 1980s, early 80s. And this was a, a brilliant idea, this, because it used balsa wood, uh, and you've got pieces with, oh, I've got some of the pieces over here, for the blades. And this was a little uh, flying toy. Um, the tricky bit for it, which had to be made by the company, was a little plastic mould here, which holds the blade. Here we are, put a blade on. And this is only made of balsa wood, so it's very light. And you put a blade in here. There's only four blades to put in. There's one. And there's two. And there's the base of the thing. And here's the top bit, which again was in two parts, actually, because it's, it's, these two bits are separated and a bit of wire. And that does the revolving. So that, those had to be made by the company. And then the rest of it you supply yourself. After each flight, you're almost certainly are um, going to lose one or two blades. They break very easily. But you just go to a, a craft shop and buy a sheet of the balsa wood and keep one or two of these as spares to work out. There we are. It's fully assembled now. It's got a very ungainly way of flying, a bit like a daddy long legs. You know, it's all legs. got very little um, maneuverability in the air. But anyway, we'll have a little go. So you wind it up like this, and you just make sure it's going to go around the right way for... Uh, yes, that's right. About, I don't know, it's 20, 30 times. And we'll let it 
do a little mad dash around the um, around the kitchen. I did incidentally try um, getting a whole bunch more of these in the mid eighties in contact with the company Humbrol. They're based in uh, in Hull in the in the Midlands. And they said, unfortunately, um, we've had a fire at the warehouse, a bad one, <clears throat> and it's destroyed all the moles. And the moles, which is these little red bits, are absolutely vital to it. So uh, I'm bereft. I've only got the one one left, unfortunately. Anyway, well, let's see if it flies now. Let it go like that. It whirls. And let it go up in the air. And oh, 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 yes, it's sort of, well, you saw the idea. And it flies and flaps about. Quite gently, if you're doing it outdoors, you must do it in very still air. But it works. It's brilliant. And I just wish that these moulds hadn't been destroyed because I would have bought another 20 or 50 or a couple of hundred for the Christmas pack. Would have been ideal, wouldn't it? So lovely one. That. A clever design for these people. And it's nice to see if someone could perhaps bring them back again because I think they're so well made. So that's an um, elastic toy, but uh, an exceptionally well designed one. Do you like it?